One of the biggest issues when you launch something for yourself and you figure out what is actually driving people on say Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, is creating enough content to grow your audience and keep churning it out even if it's a faceless brand. I've created an automation workflow which allows me to create over 200 videos, short form videos, reels that are less than 15 seconds long that I can schedule in places like my Facebook page to promote the brand without spending hours and hours and hours on a repeatable process inside Canva to create these videos. Now I'm going to show you how I've done that. So a few people on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, in the past few days have been asking me how I'm getting on with the automation of short form video creation. So about 15 seconds long in the video length. And I'm going to do this walkthrough because they've asked me to do it to show you how I've been getting on and what I've got so far. So let's do a bit of background first, a bit of context. My idea is to help me promote one of my side projects, Bait Camp, which is a fishing brand. And what I've identified is the target audience, my ideal customer, is on Facebook. So they interact in Facebook groups. They follow some phishing influencers, so basically Facebook pages for influencers. They share their imagery on Facebook, or so whatever they've been catching, put it in groups, and there's a big community on there. A lot of my, pe lot of my people that I want to get in front of are on there. They then follow that up by Instagram. So again, visually, they want to see what people have been catching. And Instagram's sort of good for sort of the how-to tips as well. And then finally, they, they're, they're going to YouTube more and more to watch sort of, I think, educational and maybe some fun content around fishing. I've got a first brand ambassador for Bait Camp, and he's confirmed that. He goes on Facebook, he goes on Instagram, and he does a lot on YouTube. So my sort of research is, is dovetailing nicely with him. However, I'm trying to build stuff um, from a tech point of view, so I'm more sort of doing things like SaaS startups and things like that. So I've not got the ability to be constantly going fishing and then sort of using that content to promote the brand. So I need to do an alternatives. So what I decided to do was I created all these, basically these fishing memes using mid journey, using AI and getting a, a raft of dad jokes, fishing based dad jokes and sharing them. On social media to try and get me to at least I'm getting content on Facebook and Instagram to start with okay so that seems to be working what I've found is again Facebook is pay to play still and what I'm found that that image I've just showed you this meme I'm running an ad campaign at the minute to try and get followers and likes for the page to grow the following for the page which will every time I then post to get more and more reach and you can see this one image at the minute it's been running for a few, on and off for a few months but this one image, this one dad joke, is getting 3,000 likes on the page. And since I've been running this ad campaign, I've gone from 150 followers to we're getting close to 3,000 followers on the page. Okay. So then I had an idea. Is Now I've got all these jokes, these basically these dad jokes. I've got a big raft of them. Can I turn them into reels because Meta are pushing reels more and more on Facebook? So I've started creating that. So I've come up with some of these characters. So this is the sort of way I've turned it into a joke. What's a fish's favorite musical instrument? A bass drum. He, 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 he. And I've got a call to action at the end of the video. So it's very What's short, a very quick. And then just saw the notifications. So every day I'm getting information from Facebook saying 49 others start following you from your short video, from your reel. So basically, the interactions and the sort of following I'm getting from the organic content is working great. So I just need to double down on that. So I need to create more of them. And it can be a, a bit of a, an arduous process. It doesn't take too long, but can I start using automation to, to get me to go quickly? So how I create the image is basically, I create this Canva video, four seconds long, each page has a different character on it, and then I've got a call to action. And then what I've been doing, I've been using 11 labs to record the voice, upload that, put it with the relevant video, putting the text on each joke for this bit, and then downloading it and uploading it to OneDrive. I'll come on to OneDrive in a minute. So that's the kind of the premise. Creating the imagery, I set up my own little Discord server, Phil's Midjourney. 
plugged in the Mid Journey bot, so it allows me to create these little characters. And one of the cool things with the latest versions of Mid Journey is once you've got the character, you can start doing additional prompts, passing in it the image, and it will try and keep it really, really consistent with the, the same sort of look. And basically, you've got you've created a character, and you can reuse that character as much as you can. So I've been doing that. So I've got five characters that I want to then create a single joke, but put it for each five characters. So it's a repeatable process and it doesn't take that long. But let's say you're doing one joke for this character, then another, then another, it can be a, an arduous process. So what I've done is how can I automate it? So a lot of content at the minute from people, these content AI specialists, and they use things like make.com, Airtable, and Google Drive to do it. So I've kind of gone, well, I've recently cancelled my workspace, my Google workspace, because it got more expensive. I was already paying for OneDrive from personal point of view from Microsoft Office. My wife uses it, my parents use it. It's cheaper, I've got all this space, so why can't I just use OneDrive instead of Google Drive? Fine. I love Notion, I use Notion. So can I use Notion instead of Airtable to do the same thing? Yes, because it's just a database under the hood. So now I've started looking at how can I go from Notion, all this information that I've now got stored on OneDrive. So I've got OneDrive here. So for each fishing character now, I've got a start, mid and end. And I'm going to save all the jokes in here and the same for, for the blonde bikini babe. So I've got salt the sea dog, blonde bikini babe. So how can I then basically create it? So I've got this content hub. Basically, I'm timely recording a course about this content hub, but this content hub's allowed me to create sort of 300 blog posts, and then I use an automation. I'll show you that one here. So I've got this post repurposing, which I basically tell it my blog post, which drive to put it in, and it uses AI and automation, open AI chat manuals, to create 87 pieces of content from that one blog post. So I'm already using automation. This is N8N, I don't know how you pronounce it, the, People keep calling it differently, but I'll go on to this in a minute. Going back to Notion, so create a new section in my content hub, BC avatars, so automation BC avatars, bait camp avatars, fishing characters. So the salty sea dog, I've given him his name, the day I'm going to publish, the voice that I'm going to use from Eleven Labs. And then this is where it's, it's, it needs neatening up, but basically this is the, the voice ID from Eleven Labs, the folder ID and the video IDs, all that's stored in OneDrive. So it's all this information here that we're going to use for each fishing character. We've got them all there. The great thing about Notion is you can then link databases together. So all these jokes, I've created a joke, so a short code. So the short code is just a way to identify it and what the output of the file name will be. The opener, so Fishy's favorite musical instrument, punchline, and then a close. And then what you can do, you can actually link different characters from what I've just showed you, the BC avatars, to this record to then create it. So I've got status, so I've got pending, which I'm coming up with, create that I want it to trigger, in progress, and then done or error, so it gets updated. So I want to be able to pull from Notion, find the relevant information on OneDrive, stitch it all together, save it back to OneDrive, and then I can start doing things with it. So introducing N88, I've showed you the blog post repurposing, which is a bit crazy. What I found, a lot of people using make.com, I used to love make.com, but what I found is it can get quite expensive, especially when you're setting up workflows that they charge you for usage. I've never been a fan of Zapier, makes way better, but it can get expensive when you start adding more and more processes in. Unlimited workflows on the basic prices, but what I was finding was spending about $10 a month and some months I was hitting that limit. So I saw this, a gentleman put all this um, open source software on Twitter, a list, and N88 was one of the products. So I've self-hosted it. I've used a droplet from DigitalOcean. It was $6 a month. Word of warning though, make sure you back it up. I actually crashed this system on Monday evening. I said to my wife, I've just lost months worth of work. Um, luckily I got it back up and running, but then I've enabled a backup. And then what I've found with, with the video editing stuff, I was hitting a limit with the CPU. So I've had to upgrade to an $8 a month uh, droplet. So again, $10 a month, probably the same as make.com, but I've got unlimited usage and I've got access to under, the underlying OS to be able to install things like FFmpeg, which I'm using to do the stitch up. 
So that's the background. So what I've got is this create a joke. So we get the pending from the Notion database, runs at 6 a.m. at 6 a.m. every morning. Have I got pending ones, then start looping over the joke, get the link to avatars, then get the avatar information, loop over them, set some variables, which is basically all the IDs of what we need to create it, pass it to a sub workflow. Once each sub workflow has run, so we've got a sub workflow for start, mid, and end, we then, mid, we then get them together, create a final video, put that on a disk, and then upload to OneDrive, clean up the information, and then do it again for the next avatar, the next avatar, the next avatar, then for the next joke, the next joke, the next joke. All straightforward. What I see with all these people that then start promoting the automation workflows is these things become extremely complicated and they're these crazy workflows it make. I think it was Einstein, or I'm going to misquote it, simplicity is the ultimate form of complexity. So you want to keep it as simple as possible. And one of the things I love about N8 is you can create these sub-workflows. So to actually create the video from these templates, from these three templates, I've used a sub-workflow. So I basically go and get the video, save it to the disk. At the same time, I generate the speech from um, the Notion record, save that, to a, save that to a file, merge it, use FFmpeg, underneath the hood to create it and save the output to the disk. So I'm gonna go back to the joke video. I am then getting the avatar information, getting the joke information, and then on these variables, I'm passing it the video ID, the voice ID, the phrase it should be doing, and the position where it is in the flow. So I'll keep it simple. So this is a simple structure. We've then got a sub -work workflow that runs Merge it, create a final video. So again, using MPEG to stitch the audio and video together. Do a bit of a cleanup and run it again. So I ran this last night. So what I'm gonna do for Notion, I've got this joke, this is a test. It's gonna be the best drum joke. And I want it to create a file for the Salty Sea Dog and the Blonde Bikini Babe. And it's gonna change that to done when running. So hopefully, I've not got this triggered automatically, but this is gonna be triggered. Just sat there every day and go and create them. So I'm going to test the workflow. So it's pulled a joke out. It's looping through the first avatar, making the start video done, making the mid video done, making the end video done, merging it, create the final video together. This is the problem I've had with this one was um, I had to up the resources on the droplet because that was just crashing because it's intensive. So that's created one drive. So it's going through, doing the next avatar and the same joke create the final video right to disc have a coffee while that's running done right okay so then that's completed it's only got one joke so we should have the status has gone to done in notion amazing workflow successfully executed so the salty sea dog so this is ordered by last created. So if I update that, this is a test. So this is the joke. This is a test. What is a fish's favorite musical instrument, a bass drum? Bada dumsh. <laughs> so if I open this, fingers crossed, it'll run. What's a fish's favorite musical instrument? A bass drum? <laughs> da dum douche. <laughs> so yeah, so it's gone and created it. So it's created each one of these with the audio on there for each section which is back to canva the different pages stitched it together got the call to action on the end and got it in onedrive so that's for the salty sea dog has it done it for britney i'm nicknamed a britney this is a test what's a fish's favorite musical instrument a bass drum <laughs> and then a call to action so we've actually been able in sort of a minute create the 15 second videos to then now be ready to publish one thing i'm trying to do so a little bit of extra work that i want to try and get done as soon as possible is the 
overlay of text. So if we go back to the reels, you'll notice we overlay of text for each one. So I want to try and get that done as part of um, the sub workflow. Then I'm also considering if there's a way to then use a social media scheduling tool. So I use Social B and Hype Fury to schedule stuff. I'm wondering if I can then draft up all this information ready to be scheduled. And because what I've got in the avatars, I've got a day I want to publish. So basically, can I just create five categories, put each one of these videos in the relevant category, and then just basically sort of like sort the cat, just shuffle the category every time we upload someone. So then we've got basically a reel going out pretty much five days a week on autopilot. And all I have to then worry about is just creating more and more dad jokes. And then once you've done that, if I'm finding new ones, can I create a meme off the back of that and do the same and sort of let me go really, really fast with the content creation that seems to be working on the Facebook page and slightly on Instagram as well. And I'm trying to publish every two hours on the Facebook page. So that is a challenge of making sure we've always got content. And what I'm finding is two reels a day, one of them being this sort of funny based, entertainment based style is working. So once I get the text up, I might do a, a, another automation. I've also got a video where I explain the thought process and how I use one of these sort of automation flows to do to the repurposing. So I'll link to that video as well that you can you can get that sort of 84, 87 pieces of content from a single blog post that you've written. So I'll, I'll link to that and hope you found this useful. If you need help or you want, want a bit more information about this automation flow, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you out with anything. So speak to you soon.